So here's one example of adding a mobile menu. I'm going to click on this demo page here and take a look at it. And you'll see it's really simple menu right here. I'm going to grab the corner of the side and just make it a little smaller. And if you do that, you'll see eventually it turns into that. It's basically a little selection menu. That's what we're going to do. So let me pull this back up. So in order to do that, we need some kind of HTML page to put our content into. You're going to see that right here is the CSS that we need. And down here is the HTML we need. So I'll, I'll grab the HTML first. It doesn't really matter. I'll click to copy it. Grab it out of there. Go over to something like, I don't know, Dreamweaver or something you have. And put it in your body. So this is going to go somewhere, probably in your header. Something like that. Wherever you want this to be used. It is using an HTML5 tag called nav that you could remove if you wanted to or add a div instead. There's a lot of ways to go with this. Let me go back over and then we'll grab the CSS. So we'll come right here and you can see copy. I'll copy that and I'll click OK. Go back over. Now the CSS can either be internal like this right here or you could put it in an external style sheet, a little CSS file. Whatever you happen to be using, typically it's going to be an external style sheet. I will paste right there and you'll see it just puts all this stuff in the style tags. Now let's take a look at it. First of all, I'm going to go out and preview and see what we get. And you'll see, okay, there are the links. That's great. Make it a little smaller. Bam. We're good. Now how does it work? Well, I'll go back over here. First of all, let's take a look down at the HTML. Like I said, the nav is just something that contains these. You're going to see that this UL or unordered list is the, the menu that's going to show up on a larger viewport. So let's say on tablet or desktop, something like that. The select is the menu system that's going to show up on a smaller screen or a smaller viewport. Value right here, this is actually the link you're going to put in. So it might be, you know, a relative link or it might be something like this, me.com. I don't even know what that is. But so it might be something like that or it might be a relative link, which is sort of like, you know, index.html or something to that effect. The idea is that we are going to style both of these, but we're going to hide one when the screen is small enough or when the viewport's small enough, and we're going to hide one when it's large enough. So this one's going to get hidden when the viewport's small, when the device is small. This one's going to get hidden when the viewport or device is large. The way it works, take a look up here, you're going to see that I've got the formatting, the nav, the li, all this stuff. This right here is the styling for the larger screen. Now, if you look at my styling, the way I actually have it set up, this is called mobile first, which means that this applies to mobile, which is great. Here's the kicker right there. On, on every screen size, you're going to see to start with, it's going to say display none, which means don't show this UL, this unordered list, which essentially means on a smaller screen, we will only see the select menu. Then I use what's called a media query, if you're not familiar with them. And we say, OK, if there's a minimum width of 30M, you know, and I don't want to do the math right now, but it's 30 times 16, you figure it out. We're saying, take the select menu, nav select, let's get right here, and don't display it, hide it. And we're saying, take the unordered list and show it, essentially. That's it. That's the magic. You can go in to the styling up here and style to your heart's content. Just know that the select menu the reason why I don't have any formatting out here is because there are browsers that just don't, you can't format it. Um, so you can try, you can add some different colors and things like that, but it won't work in a lot of browsers. So there it is, really simple menu system for changing for your mobile device.